Well, the demand that the railway minister must resign is being echoed by the opposition parties, including Congress leader Rahul Gandhi, who is on foreign soil. 270 lives have been lost in the horrific train tragedy of Odisha, but three days later, there are many unanswered questions. First, the recommendation of a CBI probe has set off the speculation that the signaling system, there was an error, which is believed to have led to the accident. Was there a human intervention that uh, then previously thought? So what is this interlocking system really all about? Let's talk a bit about this technology. The electronic interlocking system, it is considered one of the most modern ones. This system is expected to be robust, reliable, and you know any kind of error cannot happen. It's fail-safe. This also is a software-based logic system. It follows a command chain to manage the signaling system. It is one of the best modern technologies that the Indian Railway can have. Now, why did the Coromandel Express enter the loop line? Was there already another train? There was already another train that was passing. There was a goods train that was parked in the vicinity. That brings the spotlight on the electronic interlocking signaling system at the Bahanga Bazaar railway station. Here's why. If train must be set to, you know, on different tracks, signal can't be green. If a point is set in reverse direction, signal ought to be yellow or red. The goods train taken uh, on the up loop set in the reverse for uh, the diversion to the loop. Now, all of these are questions that are, uh, you know, we are yet to get answers of. The, uh, the Coromandel Express was coming in from the same direction. Uh, that also takes us to the question that was the signaling error is something that we should look at. The express was to pass through the up main line given a green signal. The experts argue that the manner in which this entire accident unfolded is clearly something that points out that not just the interlocking system, but also on the signaling system, there are certain errors that need to be addressed. Now, there was no pass through. The express was diverted. It entered the up loop line. It cannot happen so easily. It's not an accident that can uh, happen in this manner. That's also a question that needs to be answered. The express smashed uh, into the stationary goods train that was there. Thankfully, the, the goods train wasn't moving. It was just parked there. And that's how this entire system uh, crashed in a certain sense that led to that unfortunate accident that led to the loss of 270 life. Now, the top railway officials, while explaining the point machine and the interlocking system function, said that the system is error-proof and fail-safe. But they did not rule out the possibility of an outside intervention. Well, here's why. Uh, accident to sabotage. This is something that the former minister, railway minister, who earlier was speaking to us, Mr. Dinesh Trivedi, said on Saturday as well, that there is a possible angle of sabotage that cannot be ruled out. Human error, was it an error? Signaling system operated from the station building. It was operated by the station manager or the assistant station manager. The station manager's function is limited to managing the operation. These are automated logic system operated from the relay room. Once logic is set and tested, relay room is under lock and key. The relay rooms can't be opened without approval of multiple keys. The room opened uh, only if there is a problem with the system which is noticed. It's not something that normally happens. Now, as I said, the opening of the relay room is for operations on the June 2 that has been ruled out so far. Was the relay room opened? Was there an act of sabotage or it was a human error? All of these things need to be uh, asked. Now, the key questions that remain unanswered that perhaps the railway inquiry will tell us in the days to come. Well, uh, joining us uh, on the broadcast is also my, uh, you know, uh, colleague joining us, Mr. Drubhijyoti is with us on the show. Sir, trying to understand from you the signaling system and the interlocking system that it works. In the last one decade, a decade the Ind Indian Railways has worked extensively on the modernization of the system. I've been pointing out to the viewers that it's error safe, it's fail safe. Is sabotage or human error the only way that an accident of this nature can happen, as far as we know? Yeah, that is the question. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, now it is believed and suspected that, you know, there is probably a criminal angle involved into it. And that is why probably the, that, that might have tempted the Indian Railways to bring in CBI into the picture. Now let us try to understand why it is believed and suspected that, you know, uh, probably something went wrong there at the station, uh, Bahanaga Bazaar station uh, uh, on 2nd of June and that led to this, uh, this, this massive accident. Uh, 
now as you were saying that uh, this particular uh, uh, signaling system let me tell you even though this bahanaga bazar station is a very uh, small station uh, type of a hall station but as the station is on a very very busy section one of the busiest sections uh, in indian railway uh, uh, that is the kharagpur section which is the uh, uh, which connects uh, uh, east and south india now uh, this uh, station the signaling system of this station is absolutely absolutely uh, uh, modern the most modern signaling system is placed there uh, uh, this is called the electronic interlocking system and which is developed over the years uh, this is absolutely robust reliable and as you were saying this is uh, fail safe a system so here the uh, experts say that it is very hard to believe that the si uh, signaling system uh, the, the the way it behaved on 2nd of june and that led to the accident it's very 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 difficult to digest and believe that unless and until there was any sort of human intervention uh, 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 this could happen now why they say so uh, try to understand that this uh, interlocking system this uh, electronic interlocking system is absolutely based on computer logic and algorithm now once as you were saying then now once the logic is set it is kept under lock and uh, lock and key it's just like a bank locker you can't open the uh, the, the the relay room uh, where the uh, where the uh, hardware and the associated machineries are kept so you can't open the room uh, without having the prior approval and for a genuine cause but the but the very interesting thing is we have spoken to sena news it in have uh, has spoken to the the station superintendent concerned asb mohanty who was on duty uh, on uh, 2nd of june uh, in the evening uh, and, and 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 he said he claimed that you know he did not even notice any mile functioning any problem with the panel with the panel operations so nothing was uh, everything was right throughout the day everything was right then what happened yeah. what happened meanwhile uh, 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 in between the time uh, when the, the the good strain that was coming from balasore and heading towards vadrak and the good strain was made stationary uh, for a cause and the cause was uh, 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 for the coromandel express to to keep uh, to to make a free passage for the coromandel express which was you know supposed to pass through the main up line then what went wrong in between this uh, this this exercise to take to take this good strain from uh, facing point number 17a uh, and you know directing it towards the uh, up loop line made it stationary and then coromandel express was given the go ahead that you can come and you can pass through the station so something may have happened in between these two functions okay. in, uh, in between uh, this time gap this time gap something may have happened and and that now is the cbi has to look into whether uh, whether there was any inadvertent human error but even though the, uh, the the experts they are ruling out this inadvertent human error or there was an advertent motivated human inter intervention thank you dhruva jyoti pramanik for joining us on the broadcast and putting all those details into perspective the technical details which are going to be very critical as we move forward in that investigation we're stepping into a very short break news and updates continue on the other side stay